Germany's defense technology sector has taken a significant step forward with the successful first flight of the Drone Hammer anti-drone missile, developed by the newly established company Skylance. This achievement marks a milestone in Germany's growing capabilities in counter-drone systems, particularly for lightweight, cost-effective solutions tailored to emerging drone threats. According to Skylance Managing Director Philip Bonnet, the flight trials have validated many aspects of the missile's design and performance, paving the way for further development and eventual deployment. Drone Hammer is designed to neutralize Class 1 drones, small unmanned aerial systems weighing less than 25 kilograms, that increasingly pose security risks in both civilian and military contexts. What sets Drone Hammer apart is its focus on affordability without sacrificing effectiveness. Bonnet explained that the missile has undergone several refinements in recent months, optimizing both its size and operational performance. Currently, the missile weighs approximately 700 grams, measures 70 centimeters in length, and has a diameter of 70 millimeters. Skylance engineers are working to reduce these dimensions further, targeting a final length of 60 centimeters and a diameter of 60 millimeters, which would improve portability and adaptability across multiple launch platforms. The development process has involved rigorous testing of individual components. These include the optical guidance system, the launcher mechanism, and the pneumatic warhead, each of which is being evaluated for reliability and functionality. The optical sensor located in the missile's nose allows for simple laser-guided targeting, requiring active illumination of the drone. This approach keeps the guidance system compact and cost-effective, eliminating the need for complex electronics while maintaining high accuracy for short-range engagements. The pneumatic warhead is another defining feature of Drone Hammer. Unlike conventional missiles that rely on explosive charges, Drone Hammer uses a compressed carbon dioxide cylinder to disperse fragments in a pattern similar to a shotgun blast. Bonnet stated that static tests have already demonstrated the warhead's effectiveness against Class I drones, offering a safer and more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional explosive payloads. This design choice also significantly reduces production costs while providing a lethal effect against small aerial targets. The missile is propelled by a solid-fuel rocket motor, which enables it to reach speeds exceeding 500 km per hour. With an operational range of over 600 meters and an interception time of approximately 3 seconds, Drone Hammer can respond rapidly to fast-moving threats. Its compact design allows for flexible deployment options, including shoulder launches, ground-based robotic platforms, and integration with fighter drones, offering multi-platform versatility that is increasingly demanded in modern counter-drone operations. Skylance, which was founded only days before assuming responsibility for Drone Hammer's development, inherited the missile concept from two German companies, E-Wolf and WR Drones. The missile was first publicly revealed at the AFCEA exhibition in Bonn in May 2025, where it attracted attention for its innovative design and practical application in counter-drone scenarios. The company has ambitious plans to move Drone Hammer from successful flight tests to full production, with the entire system scheduled for testing at the Defense Technology Center in Maxing by the end of the year. The development phase is expected to conclude in the first quarter of 2026, after which the missile could enter active service. One of the core objectives of Drone Hammer's design is to maintain a low unit cost. According to Bonnet, each missile is expected to cost several thousand euros, a remarkably low price point for a guided anti-drone system. Achieving this affordability is made possible through the use of unconventional materials and cost-effective manufacturing techniques, which ensure that the missile can be produced at scale without compromising performance. This cost efficiency is particularly important given the growing prevalence of inexpensive, commercially available drones that could be used in surveillance or hostile activities. The development of Drone Hammer comes at a time of increased investment in German air defense capabilities. The rising threat of small, Agile Drones has prompted both military and law enforcement agencies to seek rapid response solutions capable of intercepting these targets before they can inflict damage. In parallel, Rainmetal, a leading German defense contractor, has indicated that the German armed forces are expected to order additional Skyranger self-propelled anti-aircraft systems valued at 6 to 8 billion euros by the end of 2025. 
The integration of DroneHammer into such platforms, or its standalone deployment, could provide an additional layer of protection against low-cost aerial threats. The missile's optical guidance system, combined with its high-speed interception capability, allows DroneHammer to engage targets quickly and efficiently. Laser illumination ensures that even small, agile drones can be accurately tracked and destroyed. This is particularly critical in urban environments or areas with high civilian presence, where precision and minimizing collateral damage are paramount. The missile's ability to be launched from various platforms also makes it highly adaptable to different operational scenarios, from forward-deployed military units to security forces protecting sensitive infrastructure. In addition to operational versatility, DroneHammer emphasizes safety and environmental considerations. The pneumatic warhead eliminates the need for high explosives, reducing risks during storage, transport, and handling. Moreover, the small size and lightweight nature of the missile simplify logistics and allow for rapid deployment, an advantage in time-sensitive situations where conventional counter-drone systems may be too slow or cumbersome. Skylance's approach to missile development reflects a broader trend in defense technology, where innovative, compact, and cost-effective systems are increasingly prioritized over traditional, large-scale weaponry. By leveraging modular components and practical engineering solutions, DroneHammer demonstrates that high-performance anti-drone capabilities can be achieved without incurring excessive costs. This makes the system particularly appealing to countries and organizations seeking to counter drone threats on a limited budget. Looking ahead, the completion of DroneHammer's testing and development will likely open new opportunities for its deployment across multiple domains. Its compact form factor, rapid interception speed, and cost-effectiveness position it as a versatile solution for military, law enforcement, and private security applications. As drone technology continues to evolve and proliferate, systems like DroneHammer will become increasingly critical in maintaining situational awareness and mitigating potential threats. In conclusion, DroneHammer represents a noteworthy advancement in Germany's anti-drone capabilities. Skylance's rapid progress, from inheriting the concept to completing successful first flight tests, underscores both the urgency and innovation driving modern counter-drone technologies. With its lightweight design, pneumatic warhead, laser guidance, and multi-platform deployment options, DroneHammer offers a flexible, affordable, and effective tool for countering the growing threat posed by small drones. As full-scale testing and production proceed over the next year, the missile could become a significant asset in Germany's national defense strategy and a model for future counter-drone systems worldwide.